Hi, it's Avi. The world is so far kaifed with this unconditional love. Unconditional love means I love you even though. When a kid comes home with a hundred on his test, you don't say, I love you unconditionally because he's doing well. You just love him. So what's unconditional love? Unconditional love, I love you even though al hanar hazeh loy hispalalti, even though you're a loser, even though you're not what I wanted, even though you're not putting on tefillin, I love you unconditionally. I love you even though you're Machal Shabbos. And, and it's really annoying. I don't understand. The bottom line of the principle of TP is that statistically we know today that the kids who are going off the derech, who are on drugs, who are Machal Shabbos, who are dysfunctional, who are not successful, are doing so because of pain and trauma. There is nobody that has a statistic under 50%. The question is, is it 60%, 70%, 80%? But the largest statistic says that any kid going off potentially, usually, statistically is suffering. That's been my experience, hands-on, not my opinion, my experience, dealing for 15 years, hands-on, with actual kids, not sitting on the side and looking out the window. I think that's the taiva. I think it's the internet. I th it's not what I think. It's my experience. These kids are not bad. They're sick. Whether you understand the sickness or you don't. Reb Aaron the Satmar Rebbe Shlita in his Kal Nidre Drasha last year said that we have to look at all the kids going off the derech as chayle nefesh. And I've heard this from everybody. There's really very few people that say they're bad. So now let's understand and go back to the mamish to the beginning of the story. Are you dealing with a bad kid or a sick kid? If you're dealing with a bad kid, I've never met that bad kid. The kid with the Yetzirah that Hashem gave that's so big, such a Baltaiva, I have no idea. But if you're dealing with a sick kid, if there's dysfunction, if there's drugs, which we know is a high sign, red, red flag of trauma, abuse, if you're dealing and you come to the situation that al Raiv, this person is probably acting this way because of a reason, and that reason is pain, trauma, abuse, whatever it is. So where does unconditional love come in? Let's switch over to physical illness because we understand physical illness very well. Imagine, Rahmat al parents have a child who's in the hospital and is very sick. And the father goes over to the child and says, Yanki, I love you unconditionally. I love you even though you didn't dive in chakras today. I love you even though you didn't put on tefillin today. I love you even though you didn't go to work today. I love you even though you slept until 4 o'clock today. Everybody would look at him. What are you, out of your box? Don't you realize this kid is sick? Don't you know that if this kid was not sick, he would be just like all your other kids? We would never say that. We don't have to come on to this whole phrase of I love you unconditionally, even though you're bad, even though you're different. If the kid's off the derech is dysfunctional, is suffering, is in pain, or they need to be treated that way, because statistically that's most probably what it is, then you have a chiv to treat them based on what most likely it is. Imagine you have a kid lying on the floor, not breathing. Okay, it could be cancer, it could be a brain tumor, it could be choking. You call up your doctor, you say, well, 80% of kids lying on the floor are choking. Do the Heimlich. No, I don't think so. I think he's just lazy. I think he's just manipulating us. If 80% chances that it's choking, do the Heimlich. There's a huge percent chance that if your kid is dysfunctional and not, it, we're not talking about chinuch, we're talking about way away from chinuch, dropped out of school, not from cutting suicidal thoughts or drugs or any of the above, and you need a psak, go get a psak from an expert, from a rav, from a dayan. But if the psak is that it's chayla, Sick? So where does unconditional love come here? You don't need to come onto it. I love you, my tired child, because I know who you are, and I know that you're good, and that's why you deserve my love.